we welcome you today, on behalf of our lead servant, Igar Young, to pause for prayer. Don't forget, you can submit your prayer requests, with no strings attached, via our website, at holyplacechurch.org, reading in your hearing, the 55th Division of Psalms, verses 12 through 14, KJV. For it was not an enemy that reproached me, then I could have borne it. Neither was it he that hated me that did magnify himself against me. Then I would have hid myself from him. But it was thou, a man mine equal, my guide, and mine acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together, and walked unto the house of God in company. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and doers of his holy word. Shall we pray? Father gave us to understand that pain, heartaches, and heartbreaks are normal part of life. For you gave us to know through your word that in this world we would have tribulation. Father, we pray for relationships today where there has been hurt. We pray for our families today, our relationships with our co workers, and even the relationships that we have with those that we attend church with. Father, from time to time offenses come, but help us to be forgiven, just as you were our example. From the very beginning, in Garden of Eden, when Adam and Eve revolted against you, give us the tools to heal from and overcome offenses that occur, whether through disobedience or by words that were said in the heat of the moment. Father, all of us have been taught in the church by church leaders or as collaborators in the gospel. Give us to realize that we, even as leaders, trying to lead your people, we have hurt others whether intentionally or unintentionally. Give us to not only forgive, but help us to walk through the offense, not giving the enemy a foothold to cause further division and disunity in the church. Give us to address the elephant in the room, that we may move forward in our kingdom assignment in the earth. In Jesus' name, help us not to try and hide our hearts, unaware that others see it. Give us not to sow discord in those that look up to us, and those that we are helping to raise up in ministry. Expose and uncover every person that's causing discord to their personal advantage so that they can be elevated or used more frequently because those that are the offended are tired. Father gave us discernment to see and know when our listening ear is running their mouths causing further division. In Jesus' name, Father, we place a demand on the anointing given to us by the Holy Ghost. And we ask you to bind every spirit that is causing the church to be paralyzed, not fulfilling its mission in these last and evil days. Give us to know that avoidance and the ignoring of emotional pain is impossible, and it also hinders the effectiveness of our ministries. Other rays of those that can provide instruction and impartation that can help us overcome the hurt and pains of life, and help us move forward in fulfilling and completing our kingdom assignment in the earth. In Jesus' name, help us to see the plot, power, and scheme of the enemy that we might change our perspective and find peace and purpose, even in the midst of our offenses. In Jesus' name, help us to break out the lethargy and see the tactics of the enemy that was designed to distract us from fulfilling the mission of the church in Jesus' name. Father God, give us to know that we are living in the last and evil day. Give us not to live the countless numbers of souls that have been left wounded within the church to die. Help us not to fall prey, being led by our carnal emotions into pseudo-Christianity, instead of an authentic relationship with Jesus Christ. 
Father, remove every stumbling block and rock of offense that the church once again becomes a place of hope, healing, and refuge. Father, cancel the assignment of the enemy that is causing the church to be a personality-driven social club. Let not the church be the platform for gossip, and let not the pulpit be the stage for browbeating. The saints of God, show us today, where have we erred? Send the convicting power of the Holy Ghost to convict us when we stray from your way. For our carnal understanding, give us to return to holiness and true righteousness. Cause us to discern the signs of the times. Cause our hearts to be heavy and once again become concerned about the things that concern you. Cause us to pause and sit back that we may evaluate what has become of the body of Christ and listen to you concerning your vision for the church in these last and evil days. Help us to be concerned about those that have lost their faith in you, the God of our salvation. Father God, cause us, the church, to see that we have comprised in matters of integrity, holiness, and sound doctrine. Father, help us to see when we are in error that we not deceive ourselves. Show us our own false humility, pride, and the self-righteousness that has taken us captive. Father, we pray for the hearts of those that have been hurt and also those are currently being wounded behind the cruel judgments of self-indulged and prideful leadership. Father God, help us to return unto you wholeheartedly that we may allow you to be who you are and complete the good work that you have started within us. Father, release unto us today true and total restoration for all those that have been wounded and send strength to the weary rest. Father, send restoration today and also a refreshing that can only be found in the presence of the Lord. Father, help those of us that serve as leaders in your church to be in the proper spiritual position, to be vessels that are able to usher the church back to your presence. Help us to lay aside our hidden agendas, ulterior motives, and personal platforms that we not do your people through deceit and misguided foolishness. Father God, cause this generation to see an unhindered, unmanufactured, authentic flow of your spirit, that miracles, signs, and wonders, once again become the norm in the church. In Jesus' name, Amen. We thank you, for taking the time to listen to today's edition of, Pause for Prayer, sponsored by the Holy Place Church. Please feel free to submit your prayer requests with no strings attached. Like this page and share with a friend. Also available live on YouTube at Good Tidings Publish. On behalf of our lead servant, Idea Young, have an awesome day.